So today we're going to see how we can add the Google Analytics to your Joomla template. So basically this is one of the very first things we should do to your Google to your Joomla template. Um, we see this question very very often on the forum so we're going to record this video on how to actually do this. Um, we're go not going to do it for Joomla 2.5, uh, the, the procedure is fairly simple and it's described here but we're going to do a few examples for Joomla 3. Um, so for Joomla 3 what we're going to do is number one we're going to get the Google Analytics template, the Google Analytics code. So we are log on to Google Analytics, find the website we've already created for the code. Uh, we need to go to the property settings, to the GS tracking info, and we get the tracking code from here. So this is the tracking code we need to use. Now to do this, num uh, to, to add this code, uh, which we have found here to Joomla, for Joomla 3, by default, the Joomla 3 template is Protostar. So uh, what we need to do is edit the Protostar, Pro, uh, Protostar template. To do this, it's a fairly simple procedure. So we go to extensions, we go to extensions, we go to the template manager, we click on templates, we find Protostar details and files, we click here, and for this what we need to do is we click on the index.js.php file we find the closing head tag and we can find this here and we paste the code here so we don't touch anything from here and we don't touch anything here and we just put that in and we save as soon as we're done we reload the file the website and if we view page source we can find that the code is in here so this one should be fine now let's try to do it for a number of other files so for example if you have a Joomla template a normal Joomla template the procedure is very very slightly different but in in general it's mostly the same the location which you need to find is a little bit different so in this case we need to find the head.php file it's under tpls and under blocks and then we add the code there so let's do it quickly so the next one we're going to do is purity3 from uh, joomlart we go to template manager we find purity3 so we go to templates purity3 <coughs> Now we'll go to TPLs, blocks, there is a file called head, and right here we see that we can add uh, the Google Analytics code, so we we'll put that in, we we'll say event close, we we'll go to the file, restart, and with it, if we do a few page source, We'll find the Google Analytics code right here. So the next one we're going to add is to the Rocket Team template. So we'll go to extensions as usual, template manager. We find the afterburner. Now this is a little bit different. This has support for the Google Analytics by default. So we'll click on the afterburner. Now this has this template manager which allows us to have the Google Analytics by default. So if we click on the features you will find this Google Analytics. Just put on on and now what we need to do is just pick up this part only. So we'll take that part only. put that in to the template and we save now we need to 
put the template as default so we click that here and now it's the default we reload <coughs> and now we see the new template and the review source we are able to immediately find the Google Analytics uh, code here so that's fairly simple for the Joomla Shack template it's fairly simple as well so we go to the Joomla Shack template which is right here we click on templates find the Joomla right files and here we'll find the template.php file we'll go to the head before this close head we we'll paste the code as usual so we'll take all the code and we'll paste it in there save and close go back to styles to set the Joomla right framework template Joomla check right work right frame right framework so we go to the styles we set this one as the default we refresh and now we have the right framework by Joomla in a moment so there it is as well view page source and here is the google analytics as well now if you want to use a google analytics plugin this is fairly simple so when, when we go here We find one which we like. This one seems to be uh, quite a good one. So download that one. Download. We have the plug Google Analytics. We install the file. this one here now we go to the plugin manager and we have the system google analytics file here we go to the options we need to once again put in the code here save and close we need to remember to enable the plugin then what we need to do is we go to one of the files which doesn't have anything by default so we're going to put in bees go back we refresh view source and there we have it once again so that's it for today um, it's very very simple to add the Google Analytics um, just follow these steps we've recommended and you should be good to go Check out www.dartcreations.com slash Joomla slash Joomla tutorials to find more tutorials for Joomla.